Okay, I know I'm not supposed to rip on high school kids, but uh, this high school senior just finished high school. Paxton Smith is her name, 18 years old, and I'm going to give her a hard time because I think, quite frankly, she's asking for it. She just graduated. She made a highly political, controversial speech at her high school graduation, which is supposed to be for everybody, but no, and she's being embraced by the liberal media and much of the culture in this country because she came out as very pro-abortion and against a controversial law, new law in Texas. I'll get to that in a moment, but first, it was all about Paxton. Her favorite teacher got up and spoke about her and what a wonderful person she is, and I'm sure she is for about 10 minutes, but I think she blew it when it came to this speech. Uh, it was supposed to be about, well, something appropriate for graduation. She decided to go in another direction. Recently, the heartbeat bill was passed in Texas. Starting in September, there will be a ban on abortions after six weeks of pregnancy, regardless of whether the pregnancy was a result of rape or incest. Six weeks. That's all women get. And so before they realize, most of them don't realize that they're pregnant by six weeks. So before they have a chance to decide if they are emotionally, physically, and financially stable enough to carry out a full-term pregnancy, before they have the chance to decide if they can take on the responsibility of bringing another human being into the world, that decision is made for them by a stranger. Lots of decisions are made uh, by strangers. Laws often are made by strangers. Laws that say don't kill anybody are made by strangers. Anyway, she's making her point. She's having her moment. Um, and if you agree with her, maybe she's making sense. Then she gets a little bit hysterical. I cannot give up this platform to promote complacency and peace when there is a war on my body and a war on my rights, a war on the rights of your mothers, a war on the rights of your sisters, a war on the rights of your daughters. We cannot stay silent. See what I mean? Now, by the way, this new law says uh, if there is a heartbeat, no abortion. If a heartbeat is detectable, no abortion is allowed. Okay, she was applauded big time. Let's start with Hillary Clinton. Smith, who only told her parents about what she had planned, says she was shocked by the positive reaction from the room and beyond. Hillary Clinton tweeting, this took guts. Thank you for not staying silent, Paxton. All right, number one, this did not take guts. Everyone's hailing how brave this young woman is. I want to show you where she lives, okay, in Dallas, Texas. That is a bright blue county in the middle of a lot of red, all right? This was not, she didn't go out on a limb, okay? She's gotten like two nasty emails. Uh, that's it, uh, criticizing her what she said. Um, but the media, they love it, and they're driving this whole she's so brave thing. Really, they just agree with her about abortion. A young woman in Texas who showed more bravery than we see from our elected representatives these days. Her name is Paxton Smith. At that age, to step out on that platform, on that issue, um, uh, watching it back, uh, she did, um, you could tell it was emotional, that it wasn't just something political, very personal. Wow, what a powerful voice, a brave one at that to do that. And whether, you know, however you, you know, whatever side you side yeah. on. Really, takes really, guts. Yeah, take scuts for her to do that. I would have been so proud to be this girl's mother standing there applauding what she did. I absolutely think this is everything you hope for in our young people. All right, this is our culture. It's got everything they want. Um, Pro-choice and a viral moment. And the plaudits continue from magazines. Let's go. Vogue magazine thinks this person should be... Uh, well, she's a hero. Uh, they go on. They say that she's going to be president someday. And uh, this is from the Houston Chronicle. Uh, ooh, she stood up for women everywhere. No, not everywhere. Not everybody agrees that abortion is good, that it's right. Not everybody does. And it's okay to have that opinion. You know who shows bravery these days? Christians. Christians who are pro-life and against abortion. There are two high school graduating seniors that you're not going to hear about much in the media. I want to show you what they propose to say at their special event. 
This is from Savannah Leffler, and she's at uh, John Glenn High School in Westland, Michigan. He rose from the dead three days later, thus vindicating his holiness and divinity. This allows us to fulfill our purpose in glorifying God because we can now stand before him blameless if we repent and trust in Christ and his finished work. Then there was this from Elizabeth Turner, a senior at Hillsdale College in Hillsdale, Michigan. My future hope is found in my relationship with Christ. By trusting in Him and choosing to live a life dedicated to bringing His kingdom glory, I can be confident that I am living a life with purpose and meaning. These are dangerous statements in today's culture, in today's corrupt culture. These two young women were prevented from delivering those messages. They submitted those messages ahead of time and they were vetoed. Not inclusive enough. Try again, try again. And you know who else is brave today? Governor Abbott of Texas signing this into legislation when people these days are trying to cancel not only um, individuals, but entire states. You know what's going on in Georgia. All right, back to uh, Paxton Smith. One more time. For Paxton, this is all about her, her ambition, her dreams. I have dreams and hopes and ambitions. Every girl graduating today does. And we have spent our entire lives working towards our future. And without our input and without our consent, our control over that future has been stripped away from us. From first grade to 12th grade, they've been hard at work. Um, there are things more important than your dreams and your ambitions or what you think are your dreams. And that is the life, in my opinion, of the unborn. And my opinion has evolved over the years and it has solidified very recently. I now have a daughter, her name is Annalise, and we played peekaboo not too long ago. You got to admit, she's pretty good with, I, I was surprised at how rapidly she could raise that little blanket. Well, I've got some news. Annalise, in about six months, is going to have a sister. That heartbeat, if it exists, you can't, you can't stop that. And I think it's good that there's a law against that. Here's another picture of our future baby, Annalise's sister, my wife's daughter, my daughter. She's a little bit camera shy. Good thing our unborn child is not as camera shy. So, all right, nice try, Paxton Smith, part of the conversation. Not as brave as they are saying, but um, I think we're even now. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.